This is ASMR with Kia. And today I'm going to show you how I'm going to paint this turkey. So it's a blank turkey right now. Got it at the Dollar Tree this year for Thanksgiving. Let's tear off the tag. So I brought out uh, some Thanksgiving candles for us to enjoy. And I got out my paintbrushes, my small palette. And I also got this set of paints at Michael's. 36 piece acrylic paint. I'd like to try these out today. So let me go ahead and open them. The paint colors I want to use. So I'm going to use this red. It's called the Crimson Red. I want to use a brown. Oh, well, let's use this. This is a uh, burnt sienna. I use this burnt umber. And I'm going to make some other colors. I want a little bit of an orange red. So we have this vermilion. orange red yellow ochre and a little bit of real red so some scarlet and a deep yellow Last time I painted, I used way too much paint on my palette, so I'm just doing a little bit. I imagine I'm going to use more of this deep yellow. So I also got these brushes from the Dollar Tree. It's two different sets of them. I'm using both today. And I laid out these napkins to help. And I also got a paper towel. So I think I wanna just kind of give the turkey an overall brown color. Some of the bristles coming out. Well, you know, hey, it's Dollar Tree. I need a little bit more of the burnt umber I could add a little bit of water but that's okay I know Bob Ross he uh, I guess I've seen a few of his videos and he does like a layer of white I think on most of his paintings I did not do a layer of white
I didn't realize how much brown I would be using. So I'm using a lot. the base of the turkey. I'm going to grab a different brush. Let me take a different color. Let's do this Was it crimson red. Let's paint some feathers. This is a very smooth brush. Very smooth. Just gonna add some orange. You can make your turkey realistic or just traditional, you know? Look how beautiful that paint is. It's very lovely. sienna into the red. The red needs to be a little darker. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to use the bigger brush for this. It's taking a little bit, taking a little too long. wing perfected. Can I get a different brush? I'm going to turn him on his side so we can see him a little bit better. Let me add some of the yellow. This is all just temporary. We're going to amp him up a little bit here in a second. See if you wait too long. The colors start to dry. too long, otherwise you can't mix it as well. Now a little bit of red, but I don't want it to be too bright, but I want it to be a noticeable difference from the body. If the red's too bright, I'm tying it down with a little bit of brown, dark, or the burnt umber.
going to start adding some more color. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and just kind of do a mix of colors. This is your drawing. This is your painting. You can do whatever you'd like or whatever you don't want to. You don't have to do. See how I used too much yellow there? I'm just gonna add a little bit of the brown. I'm just gonna darken it up. Little red. It's gonna just change that right back. A little bit of shadow. It's multicolored little leaf there. And then I'm gonna just use maybe some of that extra on its body here. See the difference? Just a little yellow change from that to that. I think I need to define this a little bit more with his wing here. So I have a little bit of paint, I put like maybe a little red on one side of the brush, a little orange on the other, and then kind of swoop down, see how it combines the colors, and just kind of run them together. I'm just dragging that down a little bit. And this and mixing it wherever else in the painting. I think it needs to go. So I think if I go like that, it's a little bit of the orange and the red. Same there, that's a little bit of that. Where 
whatever I think it doesn't look. So natural, I'm just kind of mixing the colors wherever I feel like it needs to go. I'm just picking up some of that extra wet paint and just running it. It's like in here there's not a lot of red up here, so I'm just taking some of that. Now I got the feathers done on my turkey and the body as well. So now I'm going to paint the beak. I'm thinking, let's try this color. Okay, so now I am done with my turkey. I'm going to use lots of different colors. But it was very fun to make. It's great for Thanksgiving. And you could do this too. Just need some paints and the sign from the Dollar Tree and some paint brushes. I want to thank you very much for watching today and I hope you enjoyed this video. You have a wonderful day.